episode 27. Not a lot planned for today. I want to test some things with snow golems, but first, I'm doing chicken stuff. <laughs> that, is, that sounded wrong. Um, I'm farming my chickens? I don't know. That, it still sounds wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, these guys are insatiable. They just can't get enough love and support. And makes me feel bad when I kill. Look at how they kind of glitch out of here. I don't know how they do it. I don't have a sword. An axe will do the job. Swat. And swat. Swat. I don't know what the appropriate noise is supposed to be when you use an axe. Swat sounds about right. Can I reach under there? Yeah, I think I got it. I got that too. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't leave that behind. I was like, should I leave that behind? And I said to myself, nope. That was all internal. Alright, that's good. And the eggs. Yeah, that's part of how they're glitching out. I think that somehow they're... They're getting on top of the fence posts, maybe when they're children, chicks, I think that's what they call them, if uh, you do animal, animal, <laughs> animal husbandry, uh, chicks, yes, um, I think they get underneath this fence, and then when they grow up, they find themselves on top of the fence, and then they just kind of walk over, at least that's my guess anyway, I haven't watched them to see what happens, it's only a couple here and there, so it doesn't seem like that big a deal. Yeah, now I'm on potatoes. Something different every time. Mm, those are those windows that I was kind of working on. Again, not really ready for that. Been really focusing on my storage room over the past couple days. Trying to get it up to 100%. And it's getting there. Um, I went into the nether, I got some glowstone, I used my nice fortune pick, and, pick, and I was scared to death. <laughs> I scouted the terrain first, I got my path to the glowstone, and then I made a slow, deliberate pass to get there. And I got there, and uh, I was attacked by ghasts, and uh, wither skeletons, and uh, magma cubes, and... I can't even tell you how many different things. It was ridiculous. Usually it's just zombie pigmen and ghasts. And I don't know where these weather, wither skeletons are coming from. Um, I guess they're spawning on the nether brick. And there must be a land bridge somewhere. And they just kind of walk over. Or they're spawning on nether rack. Which I didn't even know they could do. I'm learning a lot of things about the nether that I didn't know before. Um, I have 30 levels. Let's see. Wait, I was going to talk about the storage room. My apologies. So, um, I filled the rest of this with jungle wood. I added the glowstone. I plan on doing some kind of a center thing here. Although, if you look back here, or at least from this angle... What was that noise? Did somebody hear a ting? <laughs> I'll find out later why I might have heard a ting. Um... If you look here, this isn't exactly centered, so any kind of a thing I would put on the ceiling here couldn't be centered because then it would look weird. It would go at a weird angle. Um, doesn't really bother me that much, the angle it is, because I like how it looks. I'm not going to you know, redo the whole thing just so that every single, every single detail lines up. Um, I don't think this was on camera yet. Yeah, I had seen this in another video, and I was like, oh, that's a perfect idea. So I put the trap doors over there just to make it stand out and kind of um, mute some of the uh, orange look there. Um, what else? Ah, okay. I made a little bit of an arch. Um, didn't intend to create this silhouette of a sugar or a glowstone dust or a redstone dust 
or any of the other dusts that are this shape. <laughs> Um, it just happened that way. I liked it though. I don't want to change it. It also kind of looks like one of the slimes from Dragon Dragon Quest. Ooh, scary. Um, so I kept it, and I thought it was pretty cool. I also, um, yeah, I put this here. Um, I wanted a trash area for the room because I'm getting lots of seeds now that I've been really um, harvesting the um, the weed up there. I like the hay bales. I want plenty in case I want to do some kind of hail bale, hay bale specific um, build. But now I get all these seeds, and I'm not. I like to save stuff. I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to this game, hence the millions of chests here. But I, I'm gonna have thousands of these things, and it's really silly to keep them. And there's gonna be other things I'm gonna have too, especially mob drops when I get my mob farm going. So. Um, I created a um, trash, and usually what I do is I would dig in one and then dig out a little uh, lava, and then I would just stand up here, and I would go into my thing and drop, and it would fall in. Um, and it was safe, but th this is a different Minecraft experience. I'm trying to do this so it's entertaining, so I'm like, well, what can I do? And I was like, well, let's mess around with redstone. So I did this, and there it is. My little treasure shoot. Treasure shoot? Trash shoot. I don't want to put treasures in here. And I just do that. Yay. Um, simple redstone. I didn't do anything crazy. It took me a while to figure it out, too, because, again, I, I don't know if you've watched the first episode, but in the first episode, I attest to the fact that I don't really do redstone. <laughs> Um, not because it's too challenging or anything, it's just, I don't, it doesn't really interest me that much. Oh, this was kind of interesting. Um, it is really simple. Path of the Redstone goes all the way around. This covers the bottom half, then it scoots around, and this covers the top half. Um, if you look at the switch, when it's deactivated, it's forward, that's because... I have the inverter here. Uh, if this inverter wasn't here, um, this switch would be down when this is pressed forward because down is on. And I wanted on to, I wanted the the toggle down to signify the actual using of the uh, wall. Did I make that sound really stupid? I think I did. <laughs> I just wanted to be able to switch this down and make it move that way. There we go. And the only way I could do that was to invert the signal, and that's what this redstone torch does. Um, it goes to here, the redstone sends it that way, and then when I flick it there, it turns this torch off, which pulls all these back. I know. This is kind of basic stuff, but I've never done it before. So, I found it kind of interesting. So there it is. Probably do more redstone again, because this is for the people, and the people like redstone. All right, back upstairs. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> back downstairs. Um, I need a sword, and I got 30 levels. And you know what I should do? I should make a diamond sword. I have, like, five diamonds. Why not use some? Sounds like a good idea to me. Let's see. Now I have a diamond sword and a diamond pick. Which I, again, keep nice and safe. That trip to the nether, jeez. It was ridiculous. Scary times. Oh, and I added carpet. I don't know if I showed this. I thought this was a great area for red carpet. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I do a little tinkering here and there, and then I see if I like it. And if I don't like it, then I change it. Looting two! Ah! <laughs> ah! I wanted looting three. Ah, oh, so close! Give me looting three! It's still a very good sword. That's a very good sword. Um, maybe I should get an anvil going and then I can supplement. Eh, uh, whatever. Okay, now I have a very nice sword. And I'm going to take a very nice nap. And then we're going to go outside and do some snow golem stuffs.
taking my nap really slowly and there it is okay and I did forget I need to get pumpkins too um, I was reading up at snow golems I actually put a couple in here or at least one um, I wanted to put it in this corner here and then I could have a place where I could get my snowballs free charge um, and he spawned fine, he just didn't produce anything. So I'm thinking maybe it's because it's too close to this, and then I did it over here, and it still didn't work, so I wasted two sets of snow comps, and I just killed them. Um, and then I looked online, and it said in certain biomes, I can't do it. Um, swamps, plains, jungle, nether, desert. And then jungle, nether, desert, they die. So it, basically that limits it to kind of the foresty areas, and um, I guess the um, snow-capped mountains, which have a name. I think it's Taiga, because uh, I don't know why I think that. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, but I also read something that said that um, rivers are slightly different, because they're their own kind of biome. So I was going to... Let's see, I'll bring, I'll bring four. So I was going to, you know, try building one on a river and see if it will leave the snow trail that I can harvest snow with. Now, if they get wet, they die. And if it rains, they die. So if this would were to work, I would have to build something a little bit more permanent. This river is really small. <laughs> I don't think it'll even count. But I'm going to try. Um, I also read something about that they only spawn over 70. So... I'm going to try it on the river at 65, then I'm going to try it on the river at 70, and then maybe I'll just try it at a really high height after that if neither of those works. Uh, dirt. I need dirt. Let's see. Okay. Breathe. And... How am I going to do this? think this way and that 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 I'll also find out really soon whether this is considered desert oh jeez desert or river did I do that wrong? I did Okay. I meant to dig out that other one there. And then the one right there. Okay, I did that without failing. First time for everything. That is immodesty. Anybody who's seen this, these episodes knows that it's 100% true. Okay. Can I build snow blocks in my crafting interface? I can. Let's try four to start. And those guys. <clears throat> okay. Did you create a snow block? Look at that. He did it. Ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, I guess rivers are their own thing, and this this little meeky, meager little river counts. This is awesome. This is very good to know. Okay, all right. Because again, I tried doing it inside, it didn't work, and I know if I did it a little ways over there, that the desert would just kill him. Um, now just to test it. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> Okay, um, is this blow? Sorry I'm having so much derpiness right now. And yes, I use that word. I think that's the first time I've ever used that word in a non-ironic way. Oh, it's working. Look at that. Working like a charm. I call this a very successful episode. How many snowballs did I get in that, like, three seconds? Basically what I lost. Oh, my goodness. That works really well. Okay. 
Okay, just started recording another clip. We're good. I don't know what kind of gap you saw there. Um, so I consider that a good test. Very good test. So what I'll do is maybe next I'll see if I can do it anywhere in the river area. Like if I can do it down there. Like if I can do it maybe 20 or 30 blocks down, then I could maybe create a tunnel for my storage area to down there. Um, and I hope you don't feel sorry for that snow golem. Because he didn't feel sorry for you. When he killed uh, Frosty the Snowman and you cried. <laughs> See, they have a backstory. You didn't think they did, did you? Those sad, sad snow golems. Do I have sand? No, I have tons of sand. It's right over here. Let's try try walking over a few steps. And that should be enough to dry it out. Okay, so let's try that. Give me sand. So either that 70 thing was wrong. Don't ever dig straight down. <laughs> Not with your brand new looting sword. Are you crazy? Oh, man, what am I doing? This is stupid. Uh... You know what? It'll be more interesting if I die. How far down am I? That's about 10. I think that's 15. Yeah. I think a few more, I'm at 20. Okay. Okay, we're going to build it right here. Um, going to need room. A little bit more room. Let's do this. Okay. And a little of this. I don't know why I did that. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Okay, I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to jump up so I can get the head-on, the head-on collision. All right, and there's one, and I'm gonna have to rise to the occasion, and two, and three, and again we go down. And I see snow again. And, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that works. Okay. Again, I'm going to kill you, sir. And I meant absolutely nothing by it. Um, it was for science. Okay. So I'm just going to refill this hole. We're going to go back up, and I think we're going to call that an episode. I don't know, for, well, for recently anyway, it's short. Um, but I still think it's a good, decent size, especially for the task at hand. Okay. Now, the only reason I'm not doing it there is because I gave it absolutely no thought whatsoever. <laughs> And I'm going to probably want to spend a little time thinking, okay, well, let's see. Do I want to put it here, or do I want to put it there? Do I want to put it more 
centered with this? Do I want to? Yeah. So these are all easy questions that I can solve pretty quickly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Zombie. Zombie friend. Oh, I do not like you, sir. Taking my door and just smashing it up. Ugh. This place costs so much in maintenance. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to tell you about the mortgage. Okay, so that is the episode. Thank you for watching. Um, it has been a pleasure. There's my snow area. Have a good day. Goodbye.